Samsung has quietly added two new devices to its entry-level A-series lineup, the Galaxy A03 and Galaxy A03 Core. And while both devices don't yet have a set price, we can predict that they'll both be pretty affordable considering how Samsung prices the rest of its A-series devices. An infographic posted on Samsung's site outlines the AO3 specs via 9 to 5 Google. The device comes with a dual rear camera with a 48MP main sensor and a 2MP depth sensor, which helps the camera focus on the main subject of the photo rather than giving you a different ultra-wide or zoomed-in perspective. Meanwhile, the front of the device comes with a water drop notch containing a 5MP selfie camera. The AO3 sports a 6.5-inch HD plus Infinity V display and a 5000 mAh battery. In terms of performance, it comes with an unspecified octa-core 1.6 GHz chipset as well as options for 3GB or 4GB of RAM and 32GB, 64GB, or 128GB of internal storage. Details for the separate Galaxy A03 core can also be found on Samsung's website but unlike the standard A03, it doesn't have a fancy infographic. As its name implies, it seems like the A03 core is a stripped-down version of the standard Galaxy A03. The device has a single 8MP camera on its rear and a 5MP selfie camera, packing 2GB of RAM and 32GB of built-in storage. Aside from that, the device also has a 5000 mAh battery and the same 6.5-inch display size as the A03. Like the base A03, Samsung has yet to reveal which company manufactures the AO3 cores. Octa-core chipset, the Galaxy A03 will be available in blue, red, and black, while the Galaxy A03 core just comes in blue and black. Samsung doesn't provide any details on pricing, but judging by the AO3's £139 around United States dollars price tag, which was released outside of US markets in September, the AO3 and A03 core will likely have similar budget-friendly prices. It's unclear which version of Android these phones will ship with or when Samsung will officially release the devices. Samsung also doesn't explicitly state where the AO3 and A03 core will be available, but there's a possibility that they'll both reach the US considering that the AO2s and other A-series phones did earlier this year.